This past weekend, 15,000 pilgrims flocked to the National Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge for Divine Mercy Sunday. This is the first time since the pandemic that this spiritual event was held in person at the Shrine. Carolyn McGrath was there and has our story. The rain cleared and the sun was shining on the crowd of pilgrims who gathered for Mass on Divine Mercy Sunday at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge. The afternoon mass was held at the Mother of Mercy Outdoor Shrine. It was the largest crowd since 2019 before the pandemic. Father Matthew Tomini is the rector of the Shrine of Divine Mercy. Yes, it was uh, definitely exciting to be back after three years of no public uh, celebration of Divine Mercy here. God offers his mercy to everybody and simply we just need to come with that vessel of trust to receive from his graces he wants to give us. The Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception have been promoting the Divine Mercy message since 1941. The National Shrine is a ministry of the Marian Fathers. St. Faustina, a Polish nun, received revelations from Jesus about his message of mercy for the world. St. John Paul II declared the second Sunday of Easter to be Divine Mercy Sunday in the year 2000. Bishop Bernard Schlesinger, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Atlanta, was the principal celebrant for the Mass. He was a pilot in the U.S. Air Force, retiring in 1990. He entered the seminary in the Diocese of Raleigh, North Carolina, and was ordained a priest in 1996. For those watching, and for those here at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy, be confident that God's mercy is stronger than any misery you may be experiencing at this time. Several activities were planned for the entire weekend, including talks, Eucharistic adoration, and confession. EWTN broadcast the event live with a one-hour program preceding the Mass hosted by Marian Father Chris Alar. It is unbelievable. Our buses were down because the number of buses uh, that came were lower because the prices have gone up. But I think we have double the cars that we've had before. So I think our total number, this might be one of the biggest. This is amazing. Father Alar is the provincial superior of the Marian Fathers and the director of the Association of Marian Helpers. He's also an author and the host of the EWTN series, Living Divine Mercy. To see all these people so hungry for God's mercy and coming here uh, for this grace is outstanding. And this is the epicenter of divine mercy in the whole world, is right here in Stockbridge. The only answer, uh, in fact, Jesus told St. Faustina that divine mercy is mankind's last hope of salvation. The Bible tells us where sin abounds, God's grace and mercy abounds the more. So this is why we're here. The theme for this year's program was the Eucharist. The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops launched a three-year national Eucharistic revival to refocus the faithful on the central teaching that the Eucharist is truly Christ's body and blood. Following the Mass, thousands stayed for adoration and the praying of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. People traveled from New York, New Jersey, and even Canada to be there. My one lady drove seven hours by herself from Canada, uh, elderly lady, you know, she's, she, not going in a bus, said, uh, was not, that's not going to stop her, you know, from coming and uh, being part of this. Brenda Palacios and Stephanie Fuentes, both in their early 20s, took a bus from the Bronx. I got up at 3 a.m. and then they came to pick me up and we got here like around 8, I believe, 7. That's a long day for Jesus. Is it worth it? Yeah. Why? Because you just feel like, I don't know, full. You feel like happy. Honestly, the world is crazy. It's all we need at this point in life. Yep. We need Jesus at this point? Yep. Coming from a young person, this is what we need. Jesus told St. Faustina that his mercy is for everyone, even when we feel like we don't deserve it, even when we've been far away from him. His mercy is chasing us. All we have to do is turn around. He keeps, it's, he's like that, that groom chasing his runaway bride. We, we are the runaway bride and he keeps coming after us. Um, this day, all we have to do, Jesus says, is go to confession and receive Holy Communion on this day. And we receive an incredible promise of the complete forgiveness of not only sin, but all punishment. And even non-Catholics can get this because 
if they don't go to confession, they can still make an act of contrition, just telling God they're sorry. And if they don't go to the mass and communion, they can still ask for God to be united with them in a spiritual communion. So everybody can get this grace. And Father Chris says our prayer should be, Jesus, I trust in you. Reporting for Real to Real in Stockbridge, I'm Carolee McGrath. And the Shrine welcomes visitors daily in Stockbridge, a spiritual oasis right here in Western Massachusetts.